Hey guys, this is EC Service Tech, and today I just wanted to go over how to check for a bad compressor. Um, I was called over to this service call, and that disconnect right there continued to pop. All right, it's a 50 amp disconnect. All right, so first thing I checked for was I checked the uh, capacitor. I took the I disconnected the power, um, disconnected the wires, shorted it, tested it for capacitance uh, and MFD. Uh, it had 70 MFD for the compressor and the common, and 7.5 uh, MFD for the fan and common. So that was all good. All right. Um, the next thing I checked for was uh, if that's make if that's not making it pop, uh, then it's most likely a dead short somewhere. So the next thing I did is I put my multimeter on continuity. Then I checked from the ground, which is right here, to uh, the yellow, 240 volts. Then I checked the black um, part of the 240 volts. Those are two 120 volt legs. Then I checked right here, which is the uh, um, the start winding in the uh, in the compressor, the start and run winding, and that has continuity. I disconnected it from the capacitor just to make sure. And once again, we have continuity. Not good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug from inside the compressor. Now that I pulled the plug off from the compressor inside, I'm going to check it again. And now I do not have continuity, which means uh, that the compressor is no good. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like in there. Alright, so right here is where the compressor is mounted. Okay, and here's the plug. Alright, when I test, when I test from this lead right here to the ground, to the ground down low, I have continuity, so this compressor is bad. All right. All right. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and see you next time at AC Service Tech.